Since uh, 1998, the International Crisis Group, of which I'm currently president since about a year ago, uh, Crisis Group has supported the independence for Kosovo. Back then, 1998, which was, as you know, still at the height uh, of the conflict uh, with, uh, from between NATO and uh, the Serb uh, government, Crisis Group has taken the position that the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia had been unwilling to permit the free exercise of the Kosovo Albanians' right to self-determination and that Kosovo was now entitled to create its own international uh, uh, status uh, separate from the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Uh, the view of Crisis Group was that the, not, the denial by Belgrade uh, of uh, Kosovo Albanians' political, economic, social, and cultural rights meant that they had a right to seek self-determination externally. A few months ago, in fact in May 2010, we published a report on war crimes in Sri Lanka in which we detailed very severe violations of international humanitarian law both by uh, the Sri Lankan uh, government forces and by the Tamil Tigers, particularly during the last four or five months of that a terrible war which they had waged for a period of over 30 years. The evidence that our investigators gathered suggested that in these last few months of the war, uh, tens of thousands of Tamil civilians, men, women, children were killed. Uh, many were wounded. They were deliberate attacks. Uh, there's, we suggest, credible evidence to suggest that they were deliberate attacks on uh, civilian targets, on hospitals, uh, intentional uh, uh, shelling of civilians by uh, the Sri Lankan forces, uh, and that there's evidence to suggest that uh, through the chain of command, this would implicate uh, the responsibility of top government and military leaders. We called for an international investigation into these alleged war crimes in Sri Lanka, uh, and uh, we felt that this had to be an international investigation given the demonstrated lack of political will or capacity for genuine, credible domestic investigations inside the country. And yet, despite the increasingly authoritarian regime in Sri Lanka and its still appalling treatment of the Tamil minority, Crisis Group believes that uh, the best mean of ensuring the Tamils' right to self-determination is still within the existing borders of the Sri Lankan state. And we've actually published also a report on the, uh, the diaspora, the Tamil diaspora, urging uh, Tamil leaders uh, outside Sri Lanka to not only to renounce explicitly the Tamil Tiger, the LTTE methodology, but also to renounce its separatist ideology if it's to play a useful role in opening a political space uh, for the accommodation of the Tamils' right to self-determination inside uh, the existing state of Sri Lanka. Crisis Group has dealt with a variety of situations in the last several years where conflict, including armed conflict, was triggered either by the purported exercise of the right to self-determination or by efforts to resist it. In many cases, Secession claims, as you know, are rooted in a history of repression, exclusionary visions of governance, or the denial of rights of minority groups, which drives these groups to pursue self-determination outside the confines of state borders. And I've mentioned the three, but I could just as easily have included Somaliland and Montenegro, where we have supported independence, northern Iraq, where we have defended the unity and territorial integrity of Iraq, or Abkhazia, South Ossetia, Nagorno-Karabakh, Aceh, or Kashmir, where we have avoided taking an explicit position either for or against secession, but all cases where secessionist uh, uh, movements and claims continue to be advanced. The ICJ's uh, Kosovo opinion leaves unanswered the important legal question of whether a right to secession can be found in the right to self-determination, and if so, in what circumstances. So I think for that we need to examine the right to self-determination itself. Uh, as you know, this is a right that is expressed in Article I of the United Nations Charter, and also in Article I of the two most important international human rights instruments, 
the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, and the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights. And the way it has done so is by asserting that self-determination is a right that must be initially fulfilled internally, that is, within the boundaries of existing states. This imposes on sovereign states serious obligations regarding both democracy, that is, participation, as the preferred method for a people to freely determine its political status, and, of course, the protection of minority rights to ensure the fullest protection to the free pursuit of people's economic, social, and cultural development. Uh, secession may provoke uh, population displacement and further unrest if the newly created nation state is unwilling or unable to accommodate its own newly created minorities. It's often advanced also that claims of sovereignty have to be earned. Now, I must say in general terms, I'm very wary of any notion that fundamental rights need to be earned. In my view, uh, they don't. Uh, that's why they are fundamental uh, rights. And yet, there's no question that, for instance, Somaliland's democratic uh, root and functioning institution assist in advancing the legitimacy of its claim to independence. And in the same way, for instance, ahead of Montenegro's uh, referendum in 2005, we had argued that Montenegro was the only republic of the former Yugoslavia that had formed a genuinely multi-ethnic government without internal conflict. So in that sense, it's um, not that the right has to be earned, uh, but that the um, realization of the right, I think, has to be uh, compatible uh, uh, with, in particular, the rights of others. Uh, conversely, at the other extreme, the Tamil Tiger's brutal uh, rule of Tamil areas, the brutal rule of the areas that where it controlled its own people uh, and the atrocities perpetrate, uh, perpetrated over the years by the LTTE, including ethnic cleansing and massacres and their treatment of the Muslim uh, minority inside their areas undermined very severely their claim, their secessionist claim. 